Hey everybody, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome back to another video. This is video number 166 and I wanted to show you how to use the scheduled listings feature and the bulk editor. Um, this is something we use with my virtual assistant service when we are listing items for our clients at least until we get to know their business. We're going to put the listings into the scheduled folder which means they're not going to go live until the client looks at them and uploads them and sends them live. But this is also a great feature to use when you want to do a whole bunch of drafts ahead of time. Um, and I'll explain why that this is better than the drafts as well. Um, but basically the scheduled listings are a, a folder or a holding tank for listings that you can send out later and it can hold up to 3,000 listings for up to three weeks. So you can put a lot of stuff in there if maybe it's getting to be the end of the month and your free listings have run out, you can still work ahead and have these ready to go for when it's the first of the month and your uh, free listings start over. Um, you don't have to wait to do your work. You can do it ahead um, and schedule it out. Um, or if you are listing for um, for any other reason you, you need to hold your listings and not send them out maybe um, you want to add information to it or uh, there's lots of different reasons you could use this but you're not charged unless the listing goes out automatically and I'm going to show you how to put items in your scheduled listings and how to send them out with the bulk editor but according to the eBay fees it is 10 cents per listing to use this feature but let's say you schedule something out for a week from now and you don't actually let it automatically go you go in manually and send it live you will not be charged so this is a, a free service if you work around that little um, stipulation and this is better than using drafts because drafts will start to overwrite each other uh, in the eBay help it does say that your list your account will hold up to 20 drafts and there's really no rhyme or reason to this I think it's an eBay glitch because I've done it myself and the drafts start writing on top of each other so you're gonna lose your work if uh, this glitch happens to you some people can have hundreds of drafts on their account I don't know why it's different from one account to the other but do be aware that this can happen um, I've seen it happen to people and they've done 50 drafts and they go back in and there's only 10 of them there. So, you know, use caution when you're using the actual draft feature, use the scheduled listings instead. So um, just how to use this, this is a, a listing that I'm doing on my account right now. And if you go down to the section where it says, um, Okay, format, under selling details, you've got format, whether it's auction or fixed price, on down. You can click schedule to start on, and then you can pick your date all the way out, three weeks out. Um, so like, let's say I'm doing this for a client, I'm going to schedule it a week out because I'm going to have their listings done in a couple of days, and uh, I just want these items to sit in their scheduled folder until they have a chance to look at them. So you'll go down here and you'll see that the fee, the 10 cent fee is on there. And when you click list your item, that fee is going to be on there, but it will not be charged to your account unless the listing actually posts on its own. So now let's go over to find your scheduled folder you're going to go to your eBay seller hub and you're going to hover over listings and you're going to go down to scheduled and I've got a few of these in here so I can show you how to do this um, you can click on the listing see what's going on with it if you want to change anything um, this is great if you're tag teaming with another person in your home office like the husband might do one part the wife might do another um, you can put these in the scheduled listings and uh, you know if somebody's going back to put the weight on for shipping or somebody's going back to add the measurements or something like that where you've got two people working on it this is a great way to do it 
So now if you're ready, you can select all the listings if you know you're ready for them to go out and you're going to click edit and then it's going to bring up the bulk editor um, so I was working on this it's going to bring up I've just got a couple in there to show you but this can do hundreds at a time if you wanted it to um, so you want to select those and you're going to go to edit fields and you're going to go down to start time and this is where you're going to change it to from scheduled you're going to change it to start my listings when I submit them so just make sure that button is clicked do save and close and I'm not going to actually send these out because this is just a demonstration but you would click submit changes and that's how you can send out all of your scheduled listings at one time with the bulk editor so if you are not using this feature you might uh, have some use for it in your business but for those of you um, that have been directed here that are my listing uh, assistant clients um, this is how we're going to do it and once you have checked your listings you can uh, make any changes and then send them out all at one time so thanks for watching and have a great day on eBay bye